Aloha, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever in the world you are. My name is Master Paul. It is a Tuesday. I believe it's the 18th of the month. I'm sure somebody will correct me if that's not right. But um, at this time, I am coming to you live and I'm inside Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center. Today's focus will be on how we can reconnect, realign to our beloved Creator. What is it that inhibits us from that uh, connection that we would like and how we can improve upon that? So if you are anyone that is just scrolling through and wondering what this live stream may be about and you feel that your connection to your Creator is not the, the place that you'd like it to be, then my encouragement would be to stay tuned and see what value this wisdom might have for you. I look forward to serving you in that way. And so, uh, I'm lowering my camera here a little bit. All right. So, uh, yesterday we had an excellent session and a lot of very uh, good and positive feedback. It was on the subject of humility. So, for those that might have missed it, how the ego can get in the way, all the different ways uh, the ego shows up that are very subtle and oftentimes unexpected, how, uh, how sometimes uh, humility and lack of humility inhibits us from moving forward on our soul journey. It is actually one of the biggest blockage areas in our life. So if you missed that, I do encourage you to go back to watch that. Uh, it should be of great value to you. Also, um, for those that prefer to listen, maybe they don't have a whole lot of available time on their hands, but they enjoy the value of these live streams, I do offer podcasts and you can uh, access them if you look up above the video as a list of links of how to access the podcast and the previous videos. You can find my information that way. The podcasts are awesome. They run about a week behind, but you can listen to them wherever you're at and it gives you a lot more flexibility with your time. So I encourage you to take advantage of that. All right. So we've got quite a few people joining in already. Uh, that's always great news. I wish to offer my gratitude to all of those that have been attending all this time. It's truly a treasure uh, to, to have um, folks consistently returning. For anyone that's new that knows they're not going to have time to watch this whole thing but wants to watch more of it, it is recorded so you can always come back to the same Facebook page and watch it again. But if you want to know when I go live, just hit the subscribe button on my Facebook page and then you'll know for sure when I go live. All right. I'm going to acknowledge all those souls that have joined us so far today. So aloha and welcome Sherry Jarman. Aloha and welcome Susan Birchmore. Welcome Don Robinson. Aloha Kate. Kate Nicole. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Aloha Ali. Welcome Lisa. Welcome Ingerlis. Aloha Suki Singh. Aloha and welcome also to uh, Johnny Mambod. Welcome Nevadita. Must have had an amazing experience with Master Maya in Australia recently. Welcome also to Colin McNeil. Aloha, Colin. Welcome, Constantin Tikumik. Welcome also to uh, Janice Crosby. Welcome, Abby Lynn. Aloha, Heather. Aloha, Lisa. Aloha, Eloise. Welcome, Annie Smith. Aloha, Stan Dabian. And welcome to Shelley. Aloha, Karen. And welcome, Chantal. Welcome, Nelson. Welcome also to uh, Atina. Welcome, Mitchie Souter, and aloha to Elizabeth. Karen Hogan, welcome. Welcome, Julia Lawrence. Aloha, Deborah Anderson. Welcome, Manuela. Aloha, Inez. Welcome, Linda Smith. A lot of folks jumping in today. Welcome, Sonia. Aloha, uh, Lucille Kerrigan, and Bonnie Robinson. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So some new folks jumping in today. Thank you for joining. Uh, welcome also to um, any folks that I have not mentioned. Forgive me for not mentioning your name. Today's subject will most likely be very beneficial for a lot of souls. Just before I went live, <coughs> I did a soul reading. I checked um, the best way to present this, this subject matter um, because I can go in many different directions. And it was very interesting, uh, the information I received. So I believe it will be of great value for all of us. <coughs> and so we're going to go ahead and get connected. 
I'm going to do that by utilizing the soul service hand position and chanting love, peace, and harmony. This is something that I do with every live stream, and the purpose of it is to connect heart to heart and soul to soul. Uh, for those that are new, this is what's called a soul song. It carries extraordinary frequency. It is currently translated in 43 languages, and for those that sing it or play it in their home, uh, life transformation occurs. There's there's literally nobody who, if you don't, if you play it 24/7 in your home and you chant and sing it, there is literally nobody I've ever come across whose life is not transformed. That's because of the power and frequency of this song. That's why we always use it to open up. So we place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand gently remaining point towards heaven. We close our eyes. Let us fully connect. Dear our beloved Creator. All layers of the divine, the Tao, the source. All of our spiritual fathers and mothers, including our beloved fa spiritual father Jesus, Mother Mary, beloved Buddha, beloved Kuan Yin, all the beings of light, angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifas and saints, Buddhas and bodhisattvas, dear our individual heavens teams, guides, angels and saints. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We thank you for all that you do for us, known and unknown. We thank you for saving our lives. We thank you for your blessings in all different ways. We ask forgiveness for this in all times, that we have not honored you, respected you, opened our heart and soul to you, and understood all the value that you bring to us. We ask as appropriate for your presence here today to bless each and every one of us to more fully awaken to our soul, to our soul journey. Bless each and every one of us to open our heart and soul more, to further align to our Creator. We ask this blessings as appropriate. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on. We ask all souls in all universes to join with us at this time as we chant to connect heart to heart and soul to soul, as we chant to serve unconditionally. So again, for everyone new, this is a blessing. Just close your eyes to receive if you don't know it. Everyone else, let us chant to serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai chen nan li, wang li ying rong er mu shi sheng, sheng ai ping on de xie, sheng ai ping on de xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. We say how, which is a Mandarin Chinese word. It means perfect, complete, good, good health. We say thank you three times. The first thank you is to our beloved Creator. Second thank you is to all of the beings of light, including our heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints who come to serve us. The third thank you is to our own soul. That's why we always say how and thank you three times. And so let me acknowledge those that have come in in the last 10 or so minutes, and then we'll move forward. So welcome Jennifer Caress Smith, uh, welcome Bonnie Robinson, welcome Athena, uh, welcome also to Randy Christensen, welcome Elizabeth, welcome uh, Randy, if I haven't mentioned you already, please forgive me. Welcome Candy, Aloha Pat, welcome Vanessa Efrosini, welcome uh, Janan Dao, welcome uh, J. Klaus Ducci. Welcome, aloha uh, to everybody. Today, 
how to reconnect more, how to align more to our Creator. I'm a good person to teach this because it's been a, a difficult topic for me as a, um, as a student of the Divine, so to speak. I believe that my story is not a whole lot different than most of us. And I'll use snippets of my story to help uh, you um, to help you know that we are all, all on a similar page and uh, the realignment to the divine is very very close we make it difficult in almost every case it, even as of today it's still difficult to maintain a connection to the divine for me I speak for myself and that's why I thought it was an apropos topic because uh, you know, I'm dedicated to serve humanity. My life is dedicated towards this uh, and it is it is a, a, a work in progress, so to speak. And the more people I'm able to serve is in a direct association to my alignment with the divine. And I find that very interesting. And it's the same for you. The easier for your life to become is in direct correlation to your alignment to divine. Let me state that in a different way. The easiest, fastest way to solve your problems is to align yourself to the divine. Who has problems they'd like to solve? Hands up. How many people have problems they'd like to solve? Well, the solution is actually not far away. It literally simply requires us to tune in to the source which we came. Why then is it so difficult to stay in that alignment? Why are we constantly getting knocked off our collective horses on a day-to-day -day basis? The answer you've heard a hundred times before. Spiritual virtue, spiritual debt. The source of all of our success and all of our suffering is our positive services and our negative services. When you get knocked off your horse on a day-to-day -day basis, it's because we are stuck in the physical world, we're stuck in our emotions, we're stuck in all of our mind blockages, and we're not applying spiritual wisdom at least 51% of the time. It is when we avoid keeping in alignment 51% to the spiritual side of our purpose that we stay in that place of suffering. So aligning to our Creator is literally doing those things that keep us in that 51 percentile. <clears throat> uh, I see a comment, Lisa says, I have a hard time with my faith. I have a feeling that if I polled all of you, I'd find at least 50 percent have a very hard time with faith. In almost every case, if you're on the spiritual journey, we have all went through variations of what do I believe in? If you believe in only one thing, first thing I'm going to tell you is you're wrong, okay? Because there is no one thing that is the most accurate way of bringing yourself to life. This is directly from my teacher as well. He said, he said, if you believe that my way is the only way, wrong again. He says, this path is only for you if it resonates with your heart and soul. If you're jumping up and down and you want to move forward and you're excited about the value and wisdom you're getting, then it's for you at this time. Uh, the only time it would not be for you is if you fall out of favor with it, which could be spiritual testing, or if it's truly bringing you negativity. In that case, you need to find a different teacher. It's the same thing with any spiritual path you take. It doesn't matter if it's Buddhism or Taoism or Christianity or, 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 or Islam or whatever it is. It's irrelevant, the label that's behind it. All of those still lead to the same source. Um, so there are many, 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 many different paths that I can go down on this. Literally, I can do a hundred live streams on all the different ways in which we can align ourselves to source. There is one, however, that literally dissolves the other 99. Because even though a teaching could be offered in all the different ways, and I'll give you just a few examples, we could do a teaching just on um, uh, each day, just on the 10 Das, love, forgiveness, compassion, light, humility, which we did yesterday, um, harmony, lack of harmony. If you just focus on harmonizing, how easy would it be aligned to, your, to the divine? If you just focused on gratitude, how easy would it be to align to the divine? If you just focus on service or forgiveness, you see, there's so many paths that could all assist you in aligning to the divine. But when I did the flow and I connected to the divine this morning, 
he gave me very clear guidance. He could be she. I receive it as a, as a, as a neutral voice. <clears throat> uh, as to the fastest path, but it also is, uh, is the path that tends to be the hardest for each and every one of us. It's the path of love. It's the path of opening the heart. The ability to align to the divine, to fix our problems with the Creator, is opening the heart. If we have trouble with the religion, if we have trouble with the belief system, if we have trouble with that person, if we have trouble with that person at the job, if we have trouble with loving ourselves, if we have trouble with depression, if we have trouble with anxiety, if we have trouble with money, if we have trouble with relationships, the answer is the same. When we open our heart, our solutions come. When we open our heart, the relationship problems become less. Why? Because when our heart is opened, we receive what they say differently. When that argument is occurring and our heart is more opened, we hear their pain we don't hear their blame. We hear their feelings and needs. We don't hear, I am wrong, they are right. An open heart does that. Why? Because an open heart sees the souls as equal, part of yesterday's wisdom and teachings. When we have an open heart, our financial sufferings become less. Why? Because when our heart is open, heaven can guide us. An open heart and soul allows heaven, our beloved creator, to speak to us. Do you think God, do you think your creator, do you think your heaven's teams are not always talking to you literally 100% of the time? Wrong again. They are. They're always sending you blessings. They are always talking to you. They're always saying, go left, go right. Don't do that. Try this. Oh, if you do that, you're going to waste two days. They're always giving us this advice, 100% of the time. Why can't we hear them? Why are we not aligned to this? The heart is called the message center for a reason. It is where we receive our messages. Financial problems in this example occur because of our negative virtue, our negative uh, spiritual debts that the suffering that has been bought upon others, okay? But it doesn't mean we have to stay there all the time. Many times we stay there because that's the predominancy of our thoughts and therefore we bring more of it. We're just manifesting more of the predominancy of our thoughts. <clears throat> but if we have an open heart by doing daily practices, we have an opportunity to look at these financial difficulties differently. We can hear heaven's messages, messages from our heaven's team, messages from our soul that says, you know, if you go here today, something good will happen. And you don't know why you heard it, but you go and you meet this person who knows somebody who's going to buy your product or your service or whatever it might be. You would not have received that message to go there to bless your finances. You would not even have went if your heart was closed. When our heart is open, it solves problems in our <coughs> uh, um, self-love issues. Why? How many of us have self-love issues, right? Just about every one of us has a version of that where we don't honor ourselves, we say unpleasant things to ourselves, we self-criticize, we you know, all of us have variations of that at some level. Uh, and if you've conquered it, congratulations, you're one of the rare ones. What is a self-love issue? It is a direct disassociation from your creator. One of the things that, that I received in flow was that, uh, you know, God was telling me, he said, my son, my love is always 100% to everybody. It is unconditional. My love is unconditional to every soul. The reason they cannot feel it is because their heart is not open. Direct quote when I heard from him just this morning before this flow. <clears throat> he said, teach people that I am always giving them unconditional love. 
our belief systems, some of them out there, have taught us God's love is conditional. Those are false teachings. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, guys. If you don't like that answer, don't watch. I don't really care. The divine's love is unconditional and flowing to us at 100%. Oftentimes, our upbringing has caused us to believe differently than that. And our upbringings uh, have caused us to believe that we have to do things, say things, be a certain way to receive love. Therefore, our heart becomes closed because we do see things, say things, and be things towards others, like in relationships, and then we get dumped on, and then we close our heart because we thought we had to do, say, and be something to receive love. This is built on unconditional teachings from our birth, from growing up. It's never changed, okay? Who's going to change it? Do you think you can just, you think it's just going to go away? You have to change it. How do you change it? You change it by opening your heart. You change it by forgiving all of those who have taught you these false teachings. That includes your parents, your peers, your teachers. That includes those in the religious organizations you may belong to. They didn't teach you anything other than what they've learned. It doesn't mean that it was, it was uh, purposeful. They're just duplicating false information. So you forgive them. You open your heart to your beloved Creator. You recognize their love is unconditional. Creator's love is unconditional. Who were you created from? Creator. If Creator's love is unconditional and you were created from Creator, does that mean that you are an unconditional loving being also? You were created from Creator. Do you think He took a part of Himself and said, Oh, you are less than me? No. Creator created everyone equally. We are one. That's another thing Creator said to me this morning. He said, people need to understand that they are all one and that any separation between my heart and them is self-created. That was his words, self-created. It's created because of our lack of alignment to this truth. We must forgive ourselves for accepting these false wisdom and teachings. So you can solve financial problems by opening your heart. You can solve relationship problems by opening your heart because you receive the necessary wisdom, guidance, and information to be more present in relationships, to be more forgiving in relationships, to be more honoring of yourself in relationships. Same thing with finances. Same thing with self-love issues and blockages. Alignment to your Creator, returning your love to Creator, reconnecting to your Creator is literally as simple as opening your heart more and more purposefully. Okay? Now, the reason it becomes closed is because of our spiritual debts and because. Uh, well, just because of our spiritual debts, basically. Think about it. From the beginning, Creator created all things, including humanity. And uh, we are told, and something that is uh, proven to be true through the understandings of the various wisdoms that are out there, that all human beings have free will. That free will created the yin and yang world, the world of opposites, the world of darkness, the world of light. In that world of opposites, you and I, as an individual soul, a beautiful loving, perfect, unconditional soul of the Creator, at some point through all of creation, made some errors. We chose um, in that opposition field uh, negative choices or choices not aligned with unconditional love. And those cascaded into additional negative choices. And in some lifetimes we did really good, did a lot of positive things. In some lifetimes we forgot. And we bounced back and forth between uh, getting better and better and better at this positive negative thing. Uh, some people call it karma, the Christianity teachings call it uh, sins, um, and the karmic teachings, the ancestors impact you, and the Christian teachings, they say the sins of the Father are, are, brought upon the sins of the, are brought to the Son to deal with, and so forth. To keep it simple, basically, uh, these things create what we step into, this life. And so how do we move from all of the trauma that we've had, how do we move from the separation from divine as a result of 
the teachings we've received, the belief systems we've accepted, the, uh, uh, the self-judgment criteria that we've brought into our life, the financial conditions we find ourselves in, the relationship problems we find ourselves in. Um, all of these have a root. That root is our spiritual virtue and spiritual debts. And if we address um, those roots individually, we can absolutely impact ourselves very positively. The wisdom and teaching that Master Shah brings to us, thank you Master Shah for bringing such clear elucidated teachings, is all we have to do is open our heart to our beloved Creator. Love pours in and literally melts the blockages. Who wouldn't want the Divine to pour the Divine's unconditional love into our heart with all of our crap and clear up our financial stuff, clear up our relationship stuff, clear up our self-love stuff. And all we got to do is open our heart. It does require your, your assistance. You actually have to do your part, <laughs> you know, and do the practices. We also have to do our part by asking forgiveness. We have to do our part by doing service, uh, serving unconditionally to serve others, making, which is making others happier and healthier, okay? But that's why this source soul song of love, peace, and harmony has been brought to us. We can do forgiveness in our home. We can offer unconditional service through love, peace, and harmony. We can open our heart through any person that's in front of us and through our practices. These three simple steps can literally align us to our beloved Creator. It's actually pretty simple when you break it down, okay? So, we're going to do that now. And we're going to do a forgiveness practice with God. The reason, and, and, and I say God, it's just a word, okay? We can say Allah, we can say um, uh, Creator, we can say Source, we can say Tao, we can say Buddha, we can say Lao Tien Ye, Old Man in the Sky, it's what they say in China. Um, it doesn't matter the, the words. Creator, that's why I said creator in my definition, because it kind of spans everyone's perspectives. But we must, must, must do a forgiveness practice with our creator. And truly we are already unconditionally forgiven anyway. Um, there's unconditional love for us regardless. Creator created all souls. Some souls went very, very wrong direction. You know, your Hitlers, your, your uh, uh, very bad names out there, okay? They've made some massive, massive mistakes. But, believe it or not, Creator's love doesn't change for those versus any other souls. He can't say, I hate my left arm, but I love my right arm. That's not our Creator. So, truly there is no forgiveness, really, that is needed to be given us from Creator, if you really take it to the highest understanding. However, for our own self-well-being, it's important to do that. Because for a great deal of us, you know I talk a lot about taking responsibility. For a great deal of us, we have not moved into that place of responsibility. We shake our fist at God. We shake our fist and say, why did you do this to me? Why are you causing my suffering? Why don't you help me? Blah, 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 blah. We are in victim mode at that point in time, certainly not serving us. Uh, and Creator, at that moment in time, is probably holding us closer than ever before, even though we're blaming Creator, because we don't recognize that out of love, we receive the opportunity to experience anything in all creation. It's called free will. And that also requires us to be responsible for what we created, including the not so good stuff. So when we move into that place of respect and we do forgiveness, what in essence are we doing? We are in essence receiving the Divine's love so that we can forgive ourselves our negative services. Ask forgiveness from others so that they can forgive us our negative services and open our heart accordingly. Okay, So we're going to do this practice. We're also going to apply a very special gift that was given to humanity. It is free. It is available for everybody. It is always in heaven. It is available simply by calling on it. For some of you that are new, it's going to be a stretch of imagination. For you, it doesn't matter that you have to stretch your imagination. Creation is creation. All things exist in creation. This, what I'm about to tell you, has been created. It exists. 
the best way to test it is not only now, but at a different time, find a, if you have a pain, knee pain, headache, migraine, right, back pain, call this tool, I'm gonna to reveal this tool in a minute, call it from heaven, ask it to come to you, apply this exact same practice we're doing now, do the practice for 10 or 15 minutes. I can virtually guarantee you that that pain will be dramatically reduced, measurably reduced, which will help your brain to comprehend that something intangible that you can't see, didn't know existed till today, can come from heaven, come to you, and bring healing to you, not only for pain, but for anything, including how we're gonna use it today for opening our heart and soul, all right? So, <clears throat> we're going to ask uh, the r divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. You might want to write it down if you're not familiar with it. Divine Love, Peace, Harmony Rainbow Light Ball. This is a rainbow light ball that carries extraordinary frequency that has been placed in heaven that is a universal servant that will come, sit in your body, and spin, and clear blockages. We're going to ask it to come and sit in a heart center, okay? So that's one of the tools we'll use today. <clears throat> Let us start by placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, much like a prayer position. We dropped our left hand in front of our heart center. The right hand gently remains pointed up towards heaven. Let us close our eyes, fully connect, and be fully present. Take a deep breath in. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen just for a few minutes. Breathe out. Breathe in again. <sighs> Release the day, prepare for the day, be fully present. One more time. <sighs> now bring your thoughts and your attention to your heart center. See in the center of your chest a pure white golden light. At least two inch round ball. This is your heart center. Keep this body power through the entire practice. We will do a forgiveness practice. Please repeat after me, if it is comfortable. Dear my beloved creator, I love you, honor you, deeply, deeply, we appreciate you and I bow my head to you my beloved creator it is a deep and great honor to be fully present and to connect to your unconditional love I know that you have been offering me your unconditional love my whole life. I am so sorry for not being open and present to all that you have done for me, my loved ones, my family, my friends. I sincerely apologize my beloved Creator, for being separate from all that you have provided for me. Please forgive me, all souls, in all time, for harming you, for the mistakes that I have made in making negative choices. Dear my beloved Creator, please bless me to open my heart and soul to you every day. Please bless me to see you in the laugh and the cry of the child. Please bless me to see you in the water, both clean and dirty. Please bless me to see you in the joyful person's laugh and the vagrant on the street. Please bless me to see you in 
my own soul, heart, mind, and body. Please bless me, my beloved Creator, to feel your unconditional love, especially when I find myself stuck in my negative mindsets, when I find myself stuck in my emotions. Please, my beloved Creator, bless me to open my heart and align to you when I find myself complaining or staying in a place of low self-esteem. Please, my beloved Creator, bless me to awaken to your unconditional love and remind me to ask forgiveness to all of the souls that I may have brought suffering to and in return have provided for me a lesson. Please bless me to see the lesson with the greatest light and love and forgiveness. Please, my beloved Creator, forgive me for harming others, for harming myself, and not connecting with you in a deeper way each and every day. I promise to listen more, to pay attention to your beauty in the sunshine, in the flowers, in the grass, in the people, in every way you show your beauty. I will do more each and every day to recognize your unconditional love for all souls, including myself. Thank you, my beloved Creator. Dear all souls in all lifetimes, I wish to sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have caused you suffering that has caused you to close your heart to other souls. If I have spoken unpleasantly to you, offered you unpleasant thoughts or wrong actions, if I have done anything to separate you from your Creator, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. I know that to ask for forgiveness by itself alone is not enough, that I must serve others to make others happier and healthier. I will chant to serve all of your souls that I have brought negativity to. I will chant to serve all souls, to make them happier and healthier, to position myself to receive your unconditional forgiveness. Regardless, I offer all souls in all time my unconditional love and forgiveness just as my Creator would and I release all souls of any spiritual debt they may have with me and I ask for your unconditional forgiveness let us chant together to open our hearts and souls to our beloved Creator we're almost ready to chant. We will now invite this goal, this rainbow light ball. Please repeat after me. Dear the divine, love, peace, and harmony, rainbow light ball in heaven. Can you please come <clears throat> sit in my heart center? Can you please subdivide 
go to all of my family and friends heart centers can you please subdivide go to the heart centers of all of those in all time that I have harmed to open their hearts to forgive to align their hearts and souls to the divine as well I am most grateful for your unconditional service <clears throat> thank you thank you thank you so visualize with your mind power in your heart center this incredible rainbow frequencies this iridescent semi-transparent rainbow light ball radiating its rainbow light clearing the blockages in your heart center it's subdivided to the souls of all your family members and friends and it's even subdivided to all the souls of all those that have been harmed by your negative thoughts words and actions visualize all of those souls being impacted and their hearts opening up as we chant the divine love peace harmony rainbow light ball <clears throat> Let us begin. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. 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 Send your love especially to God. Send your love especially to all those souls that have been harmed by our incorrect thoughts, words, and actions. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. 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 Divine love. Peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. I will continue to chant. You chant silently. <clears throat> Reconnect your heart and soul to the divine silently. Ask forgiveness, but open your heart to feel your Creator's unconditional love. Trust me when I say it is radiating to you one billion percent. Let it melt your blockages. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Divine love, peace, 
Harmony, rainbow lights, ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball, divine <coughs> love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball, divine love. Peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. Now, this golden rainbow light ball has been radiating to your loved ones, family, and friends. It also went to all those exes, the ex-boyfriends, the ex-girlfriends, the previous husbands and wives, not only from this lifetime but from all lifetimes, send them your love, ask forgiveness, why hold on? They are souls on the same journey, we are all one, send them your love, ask forgiveness, let them open their hearts and souls too. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Heaven is showing me these <clears throat> bands of light radiating between these, these literally hundreds, thousands, millions of light balls in each of these souls. And there's this crisscrossing of light going from your heart and soul to your family members, to those in relationships that you've had negativity with, to all those in all lifetimes. All these bands of rainbow light are going between these light balls. It's literally clearing the blockages is very, very astounding. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Ha, ha, ha. Let us bow our heads to our beloved Creator. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. <clears throat> With humility, yesterday's teachings, let us bow our heads to all of our beloved ones, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, family, and friends. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Let us bow our heads again, humility, to all of those that we have ever harmed and hurt. Let us ask forgiveness. Mm, bow our heads, countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. All those that have ever harmed and hurt us, maybe we hurt them first. Let us bow our heads, countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Let us bow our heads to all the beings of light, divine Tao and Source, that offer their unconditional love and blessings today. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. I will offer a short soul reading as to the value of this. Please share how was this experience for you at this time? What did you notice? What was your emotional experience? What was your third eye experience? What was your feelings? Please share, and I will offer a short reading as to the power and significance of this blessing at this time. How? This is the, divine, the soul 
of the divine love peace harmony rainbow light ball it is with the greatest joy that I was asked to come today it was with great exhilaration that you asked me to subdivide to go to these many 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 souls there are countless souls from many generations that have been negatively impacted by many of yours unpleasant service many of these souls were astounded to have been blessed by my light that I am honored to have given to them many of these souls had not remembered the nature of the disservice but upon the reminders of your forgiveness was more than happy to release you of your spiritual debts there was a great as was witnessed bands of light crisscrossing and unbeknownst to each of you and the many thousands millions of souls that were impacted there was not only crisscrossing individually but amongst all of those present and all of those called forth for there is a unique web of life and crisscross that occurs this was in essence a massive karma cleansing on a massive scale if only humanity knew the power and significance of this kind of practice if only this kind of practice was duplicated daily literally within a very short period of time a year or so all problems in humanity could be reversed that is the measurement by which the power of this practice can be accomplished that is the power that my beloved creator has infused into my soul it has been my honor to serve you this is the soul of the divine love peace harmony rainbow light ball how oh, oh, oh. thank you thank you thank you what an incredible message huh wow thank you thank you thank you incredible message beautiful soul um, I hope you pay attention that you can call this soul but if you ask it will subdivide and serve others that's where the real shift occurs great 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 wisdom thank you to this beautiful soul <clears throat> so aloha to all those that came in a little bit later I'm sure that this catch you a little bit off guard um, welcome Liz Wong Aloha RD welcome Judy Parker welcome Danielle Aloha and welcome to Annette Blood welcome uh, also to uh, Diane Chun Karishma welcome Lisa Carter uh, if you came in late I highly recommend you watch it from the beginning which you'll be able to do as soon as I complete this and uh, and it goes on to the recording cycle and if you enjoy it please hit subscribe uh, I'm gonna read some of the comments now uh, Vanessa says her heart felt heavy and then beginning to become lighter yeah beautiful do more <laughs> watch again Lisa says she feels calmer much much more light says Diane Chun Hayashi welcome Diane uh, Krishna welcome welcome okay let's see other comments Kate said was seeing a bright prism of light with tints of color shining out from it very beautiful Kristen says her Mingman point is very warm and pressing out very large Mingman point is the Tao point a very special point and the lower dip in the back uh, Sean Chantel blessings and grateful thank you a huge release feeling lighter says Johnny Mambode couldn't stop crying says Shelley Ali feeling blessed and calm thank you most needed to feel the presence of the Creator I tell you this was an extraordinary blessing um, extraordinary blessing <coughs> when um, one of the biggest blessings actually came when 
when I ask each of us to connect to all those that, uh, that we have kind of, we've been blaming them, right? All those that have hurt us. That's when extra virtue came. That's when, you know, my crown lit up even more. A lot of extra virtue was released at that time because extra virtue was needed to help offset our pain and suffering around that person hurt me stuff. Okay? So, if you want to know if a pair of sweet, taste it. If you want to know how to fix your financial problems, your health problems, your relationship problems, the solution is simple. Open your heart. When you open your heart, love comes in. Love melts all blockages. All of them. When you open your heart, you can receive divine guidance, which allows you to not make more of the same mistakes. When you open your heart, you are more forgiving and understanding, compassionate towards others. That keeps you from not making more mistakes. When you open your heart, you can solve a great deal of your problems. You can realign to your source and solve almost everything much, much faster. All of these books behind me, they carry transmission power in them. Get some. Go, got, go find them at your local bookstore. Go find them at Goodwill. Go find them uh, at the library. Uh, go to Amazon. Go to the used books section. Surround yourself with them. Get 10 of them. Put, sit in a circle. Do your meditation. Uh, read each one, uh, but go to the highlighted bolded sections and receive the transmissions because just like the Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball, in, in, in 10 books you're going to find 100 transmissions with equal power, but they come to you personally. They, the ones I'm talking about don't reside in heaven. They literally will reside with your soul personally. Who wouldn't want 100 light bulbs like the one that was given to heaven? So um, there are so many ways you can self-heal. You just got to snap into it and do the work. All right. So if you want to do things faster, receive a crown chakra blessing. I can do one for you, one for your spouse, clear all kinds of blockages in your relationship. I can do one for you and one from somebody that's left you, that's kept you in pain, clear all kinds of pain. I can do one for you for uh, releasing self-worth blockages. I can do a crown chakra blessing for releasing the negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs around money, which allows you to position yourself to manifest greater. Crown chakra blessings can clear lifetimes of blockages in two minutes. They are extraordinary, and if you can afford the $100, it is literally crazy not to do it. It will save you lifetimes of suffering and make things much better, much faster. I am here. You can contact me. Kristen's posted my information. Thank you, Kristen. Go to my website, learn more above my video, subscribe, go to my links, watch my podcasts from the past. I am your unconditional servant. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.